the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. What is it? It's the theory that states that you can't necessarily know the velocity and the position of an object simultaneously. Now I know what you're thinking. What? Imagine you have a ball. Now imagine it falling through space. Now stop. Here we have a picture of the ball, but that's just it. It's a picture. Sure enough, you can tell where it is, but you'll never be able to calculate how fast it's moving. However, if you add the aspect of time, you can now calculate its speed, but you never know exactly where it's going to be. This is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in a nutshell. But wait, everyday occurrences still undergo the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. I'm sure we all enjoy memes, and the memes that are popular today are our current position. However, we never quite know when they're going to die or move towards the past. However, when we do know when a meme is going to die, we never quite know what's going to be the next big meme. But hey, this is quantum mechanics. It can't be that easy. And here's why. You see, everyday objects like you and me behave as both particles and waves. Now to be wavy means you have a wavelength. Therefore you have a momentum and hence a velocity. This is how we can measure the velocity of tiny objects like electrons without necessarily seeing them. So imagine you have an electron in a spatial pocket. You calculate its velocity by finding its wave. But the thing is, it has an even probability of being where the crests and troughs are. Hence you're, quite, you're not sure about its position. In order to make sure you know its position, you use waves of different wavelengths so the regions where the crests and the troughs intersect, they cancel out. This reduces the amount of wavier regions, hence increasing the probability of, it, of the electron being there, hence making it possible that you know its position. But to get here, we used wavelengths of different wavelengths, hence different velocities. So in trying to know the position, we made the velocity uncertain, and in trying to know the velocity, we made the position uncertain. This is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Thank you for watching.